Drop a like for better lobbies to get the riot shield done faster. The grind for Damascus is like no other, by far the hardest and longest grind for a max camo in Call of Duty, especially when you come upon the special weapons such as the riot shield. The riot shield is unique in its challenges, most potently how difficult and time consuming it can be. So we thought with Carnage Tasty being one of the most insane COD players and one who has mastered the Damascus grind as he has actually unlocked it nine different times for people. We thought we'd let him enlighten you on how to grind out the riot shield the fastest and most efficient way possible. And while you're at it, make sure you're cracked out and focused with some G Fuel. One of the healthiest options on the market, being sugar-free, gluten-free, and doesn't result in a crash, this is your best bet. With over 38 fun flavors to choose from, there is a flavor for everybody. Never had G Fuel before or don't know what flavor you'll like? Treat yourself to a cheap variety pack to test the waters. And don't forget to use code CARNAGE at checkout for 10 to 30% off all products, also while supporting the team. The majority of the team drinks G Fuel to get cracked in Call of Duty and other games, and I can guarantee it will help you as well. And with that being said, let's get your Riot Shield Gold ASAP. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I have a video on the riot shield I'm basically just gonna show you guys how I do the riot shield myself I'm um, gonna show you some some strats and give you guys some tips on how to do it And there's two camos specifically I want to focus on I don't really know which they are but it's get 50 kills while being injured And then the last is skulls camo which is get free kills 25 times um, That is a, a really annoying challenge and can be super time consuming um, it's pretty hard, but I do have some strats and some tips for it for you guys. So let's get right into what it. What you want to do with a right shoulder is, first of all, you want to rank it up. And as you can see, my right shoulder is level one. I'm on my old account right now. It is level one. So I'm going to rank it up today and kind of like the challenges and do it myself for today's video to show you guys how it's done. So luckily right now, I do have, there's a shipping playlist in hardcore, which is car players only want one thing and it's disgusting. And that is shipment 8v8. You see, I always rank it up in shipment. And if you guys have any double weapon XP tokens, I definitely recommend using it on the right shield. I do that every single time I can. Every time I've done it, I always use double weapon XP on the right shield. It helps a lot and you'll be able to max it out in basically no time. So unfortunately I don't have it, but I would just play shipment today. And then yeah, I will let you guys know. I'll show you guys some progress throughout the entire video. I'll just show you guys how it's done. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So we just played the first game of the ride, so it's now level 9, which is pretty good. I mean, I think I dropped 32 kills in shipment. Um, and yeah, you just gotta keep going. Shipment is really chaotic, and it can be super frustrating to, to play as well. Um, you can see the kills are injured is actually. The might actually fix that. Wouldn't be a, that big of a problem. If you guys are shocking with it, um, I, I still want to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to do it. Um, because I know this has been really hard to do before. Um, it seemed like a trick because I got 17 in one game, which is... Pretty unusual, you still get like zero. Um, so yeah. Let's move on to the deck. Let's just keep on going and see where we end. So it might just be the last challenge that I need you to show you guys. Um, and then we'll see.
So I've been playing for it's just a little bit more than an hour now, and my rag shield is now max level, which is level 31. So I was just playing Shimmer the entire time, and it doesn't really take long, and I did it without double weapon XP too. If you have double weapon XP, obviously it's going to be twice as fast. It's not going to take you more than 30 to 45 minutes in shipment. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. And as you can see, my camera progressing as well. I have literally completed all my challenges except for the scores ones, and that's what we're getting to right now. Despite playing shipment, all these other challenges are already done, and you can see the, the kills have been injured. That used to be super bucky, um, but it seems like they fixed it, and it should be pretty easy for you to do now. now this is my seventh time getting the right true gold. I've gotten the mask six times, and now I'm obviously on my old account. But now, we are getting into the Skulls camo. Now it's gonna get interesting. A lot of people have messaged me and asking me how, how I'm doing this. Like, it's so hard, we can't get it done. Um, and it, this, it can be really annoying and frustrating to do, but I do have some, some medics I wanna share with you guys in today's video. So the first mode I usually go to when I'm getting three kills in one life is Hardcore Headquarters. And that is by far, in my opinion, the best mode to get it done. Especially on some maps, it's extremely good. Like in Blacklock could be one of them because there's a lot of buildings, there's a lot of houses, as you can see. Uh, which is good when you want to ride so done, obviously, because you can play around the same area. I could technically stay in this area the entire time. But since it's headquarters, um, I'm allowed to, since the, the headquarters are rotating around the map, I can kind of rotate with it and I can switch it up. Being unpredictable in these games is probably the most important thing. Uh, and you want, obviously you want to switch it up, you don't want to do the same thing over and over, you don't want the enemies to know where you're at. Um, that's why I think being able to kind of switch it up and do different stuff every single life, or like every few minutes is really good for you, obviously. Um, so again, there's a lot of buildings around the map, you have this building here you can sit in, there's only two ways to get up there. You have to build a building right here as well, we can get up top. There's so many good areas you can be in, you have that building over there at the same time. Um, and it's just about... Um, it's just about really being in a good position and then holding it down and kind of switching it up because in Call of Duty usually when you kill someone, they're coming back for you, right? They, they're not going to let that happen. They, if you kill them and they know you're in that area, they're going to come back for you every single time and it helps quite a bit. So if you're staying in this house, um, you have this guy who's the first one coming through. See what we can do. So for me, it's just about sitting in different corners and waiting for them to come back now. And now just play the waiting game. You gotta be patient while doing this, and then they would have been to come back. I think mean, this is the exact same guy that I just killed. Maybe now I can go and kill again. And he doesn't know I'm there. And then again, we go back into the house and we kind of hold the same position, but I use a different spot every time. I don't think that guy saw where I was sitting at, so he doesn't really know. But just in case, another guy, there he is again. He is coming back, and they always come back. So there you have a free coast streak. And there's so many maps, I will put all the maps that I think is really good for this in like on the screen right now. Um, there is uh, some maps that I will definitely avoid. Like Rust, Shipment, Shoot House, those maps are small, but they're definitely not the best map for this, I would say in my opinion. Yeah, you need maps with buildings on and kind of safe spots where you can switch it up and you can do like different stuff. Like in Blackwater, there's just so many good spots, like this little area right here. Yeah, you just gotta be smart. I mean, it's hard to explain it. I mean, you, you saw how I just did it in that house. That's how you have to do it in headquarters. Um, it's just about waiting, being patient, um, not pushing it. Stay in the same area, wait for them to come back and push you, because they are coming back. They are always coming back. You see, they're, they're literally coming for me every time I kill them. They know I'm here, but they can't take me out, because you have a riot shield. You gotta take advantage of it. If you guys know how to use the riot shield, it is just covered. He's coming back once again. Six cold streak. So there's another one done. Alright, so the next round I have is actually the complete opposite of what we just did in headquarters. By killing the same people over and over, it is now in, in core, which is ground war, which is a completely different strat. Um, basically the strat. Let me see if I can even catch this guy so we can get into, if we can get started this video. The strat is kind of the opposite because you're killing different people. On ground war, obviously, there is 32 players on, on, on every team. And it's just about playing in the same area, just a lot of houses. I would say Farm Limb is the only map that is really like, good for this. Um, the other maps are not that good because there are not many buildings or anything. Um, but in this, you can kind of, again, switch it up. Um, some might come back, but you're mainly killing different players every time. And you can do, do different strats. So, they don't know. This guy, these guys around me right now are not going to know I'm here. On this, the same guy is coming back. And usually, most people will think I'm moving. There we go. There's a free post streak already. And it's just, you can definitely switch it up 
quite a lot of fun flying land. There's so many good houses for this. Usually, top floors are pretty freaking good for this. There's just one house near there, the D flat. If they have the D flat, that is really freaking good. Because there's a lot of people go into the house, so you can still get up top. So that's super nice. Let's see what we can get done here. Oh my god, he had an RPG. I think there's another guy. Yep. And they're usually coming up. So, the good thing is blocking them on the stairs. I don't think he saw me. Nope. We're just gonna wait now. I'm just gonna stay here again, honestly. They're coming up. Just got a free kill streak right before we died, so that's still good. Another flat that I think is outstanding for this is the B flat. There is, again, there's two houses around the B flat, so like, you can kind of. Get this guy, here we go. It's just about playing around and just sitting in corners, wait for them to get in. Um. Play different spots every time because most of them are actually spawning around the flag over like, again and again. They're spawning at the same flag and trying to push towards our flag. Um, so this guy, I'm pretty sure this guy literally just killed. This guy too. Another free kill streak. And you can go up top, you can kind of block the stairs so they can't get up behind you. Um, you can sit under and wait for them to kind of run past you first and all that. Um, so the flag is, it, it's really good to be a flag to, to kind of get your free kill streak done as well. Can I get this guy? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Um. My main's going for long shots out here. That's a good long shot spot right there. Just letting you guys know. Go. There you go. We got another free kill streak. The rice shield is actually not that hard to do, and it's actually pretty simple what you gotta do. Like now you saw how I'm doing it usually, either ground floor or high headquarters. Some people are doing it in high court free fall, some people might do it in kill confirm. It all comes down to what you like more and what you prefer, honestly. I prefer um, headquarters personally, sometimes I do it in ground floor just to chill off. Uh, but yeah, now that I made this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed I hope it helped some of you guys out. It took me like 3-4 hours to get this ride shoe gold. Um, on my old account, so yeah, if there's anything else you guys want me to make a video on, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions, then let me know in the comment section below too. I will get back to everyone. Um, and then thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like on it and subscribe if you guys are new. Um, then thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.